God and I man like the place, you know. I give the best review. Time a John near. Appeal it right there, so. Viewers and subscribers. Me know a bag of people and them mother. A wait to see or hear the result pertaining to Vibes Cartel case. Free paper bun, you know. That's all I can tell some people, you know. Yo, some artists in the dance hall where I take this thing off for gimmicks, you know. Remember, you know, around the corner, cartel de for forward, you know. Around the corner. You hear? I'm going to read one article too, you, know? you see me? The attorney where I represent Vibes Cartel right now, which is Isaac Buchanan, Zin, he must seem eager for argue the fever dance hall DJ final appeal at the UK Judicial Committee of the Privy Council on Wednesday. Zin, and I in a February that. In March 2014, Cartel, his real name is Adija Palmer, and Sean Stam Campbell and two associates, Kaira Jones and Anje Matsu St. John. Matsu and Kaira Gloss fuck up the two look ends where you are child like. Zin, were found guilty of killing Clive Lizard Williams, who according to prosecutor has disappeared after failing to return to and lies the firearm to cartel. His body was never found. After their conviction was largely upheld by the Jamaican Court of Appeal. In April 2020, the four men moved to the Privy Council the final court of appeal for some commonwealth nation including jamaica seeking to overturn their life sentence that range from 22 to 32 years before parole they allege among other things that crucial cell phone evidence was improperly obtained and that the trial itself which lasted 64 days in the Kingston Home Circuit Court was compromised. The Privy Council has assigned a panel of five justices, Lord Reed, Lord Lyde, Jones, Lord Briggs, Lord Burroughs, and Lady Simler, who will hear argument from both sides and key issues in the case. They will then issue a ruling in due course, typically a few months. According to Buchanan, and court record independently obtained by the key issues to be decided in cartel's final appeal are should the trial judge have excluded the telecommunication evidence relied on by the prosecution or should the judge have handled an allegation that there were attempts to bribe members of the jury during the trial should the jury are the particular jury said to have offered the bribe have been discharged? Was the judge wrong to invite the jury to reach a verdict late in the day given the special circumstances of the case? Many regards Buchanan as the ideal candidate to take the Royal Bass case to the UK was not only was he once a musician himself but he also a big fan of the live sweet DJ asked if he was optimistic about the chance of winning he responded i believe in jamaica constitution it is the last instrument in existence that restores humanity in jamaica cell phone evidence was crucial data obtained legally the central argued the central the central argument in the case questioned the validity of cell phone and other telecommunication evidence presented by the prosecutions. Police had seized a total of 10 cell phones including 4 belonging to cartel when the artist and his co-appellants were arrested on September 30, 2011 in particular. One of the phones, a Blackberry Torch belonging to cartel, its SIM card and SD card allegedly contained evidence that link him to William's murder. A privy counsel summary of the case state the prosecution rely heavily on evidence derived from these phones, which was taken from a copy of a CD RAM provided by Digicel, a telecommunication provider in Jamaica, in response to the police request at the trial. The appellant challenged the admissibility of this telecommunication evidence. They argued that. The police requested to Digicel and Digicel provision of the data to police were carried out in breach 
of the interception of communication act in continue further the evidence had been obtained in breach of the fundamental right to the protection of the privacy of communication guaranteed by the charter of fundamental rights and freedom contained in jamaica constitution however the trial judge ruled that the telecommunication evidence was admissible hmm. blood clot jury tampering allegation was the trial compromise hmm. another significant concern pertains to the attempt jury tampering during the trial the judge justice lennox campbell became aware of an allegation that a jury had attempted to bribe the jury for a woman by offering 500,000 jamaican dollar for her influence other jury to return a not guilty verdict couple of played. the affair was also allegedly made to some other juror after investigating the allegation and considering it with counsel for both the prosecution and the defense the judge decided that the trial should proceed he did not discharge the jury or the particular jury said to have offered the bribe the privy council record reveals that's fucked up in march 2023 the particular juror a man named livingston kane a whole heap of rang bang going in that case yeah, is me and the people him realize that is me the people him realize that the system it a fail no for way you understand because really and truly brother when they really pray say when they really pray say cartel gone for so long if the privy council zin lego cartel what you think say we as the people are gonna look upon the jamaica system or you think we're gonna look upon it hmm? it's it gonna look fuck up and then go feel fuck up in themselves yo i will leave my money my makeup for them you know that's <laughs> clear me feel like say where them do them realize that them fuck up and afraid for let him go because them know the consequences them know them know how much money him can make after him, him lose so much time in him life him can sue them for life is it because the man could and the do all the show and make crazy money but guess what them take away him freedom them say some vice note ray ray te 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 then can't find this and them can't find that and guess what i'm not here gonna pick up for your person and say yo rrr, no i'm not swear for nobody but in a criminal situation you have to always have evidence real evidence to fling with a person for your, for, for your lifetime you understand real evidence it's not a joke thing it's not a petty charge where a man go do, do a one month or 10 day or 15 day or 30 day and come back home no a life sentence you have to have serious evidence you see me no joke 